Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara Just Streamed. I have been revisiting some old classic Disney Channel original movies and today I'm continuing that with Motocross. This is a 2001 Disney Channel original movie about a very, very, very suburban family. Ike is here, hello. You wanna say hi bye? Hi bye? You wanna say hello, Bubba? Hello. I'm the best motocross star in the world. I fit into one boot. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Very suburban family who owns their own private motocross company team and they're trying to get funding for it and so they have to win this big cup tournament and whoa, there's a lot of eye care in the freaking air. Basically the gist of the story is that the brother Andrew and the sister Andrea have some fun messing around. Andrew, who's the main racer, hurts his leg and Andrea chops off all of her hair, pulls a Mulan and pretends to be him and races for the family. The father is very upset about this to the, the most extreme possible. He's such a freaking dick in this movie, it's crazy. At the very end, of course, he comes around after so much fighting and then she ends up winning, winning the cup and winning the money for them and also possibly falling in love with the worst ending that I've ever seen for a movie ever. I really loved this movie when it came out. I remember watching this a bunch of times on Disney Channel. I thought that it was super fun. I really liked the idea of being one of the guys. I was totally one of those I'm not like other girl girls. And when this came out in 2001, I was like in junior high school trying desperately hard to be cool. And I just was like, I could totally cut off my hair and be a moto star, motocross star. Of course I could. I still can. Do you see this shirt? It has numbers on it. I'm a fucking star. Also one of my favorite PS2 games ever is ATV Off-Road Fury 2. If ever I hear one of the songs that was on that soundtrack, just nostalgia heaven. Oh! ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Yes. Frick, I loved this game. Oh, that's not motocrossed. <laughs> Those are like quads. <laughs> I'm so sporty! Soundtrack, yes. What was that soundtrack? You should try not to be so courageous. That's the one that hits! Speaking of soundtrack, I got halfway through this movie and so okay i guess i'm ranting on it a lot overall i really enjoyed it overall i think it's a really cute movie and super fun and there are some fun themes throughout it and some good lessons learned and it's just really easy and fun to nitpick at something that you grew up loving and that you looked on with nostalgia and now that i'm seeing it as an adult it's just so fun to be like oh my gosh i'd never never realized that while watching it the first time or the first like seven times when I was growing up. And so like, I feel like now watching it, it's super fun to admit to myself the problems that I now see. But overall, to be clear, it's a banger and it still slaps and I loved it. But I got like halfway through it and I was like, what? Well, it's like something is really like lackluster about it. Something was missing and then it hit me when there was this really intense moment and the music was like doom ba doom bum 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 doom ba doom bum 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 doom ba doom bum 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 Wait, that was a terrible example of what it actually was. What I'm trying to say is that the music <laughs> really lackluster. It's like this really intense thing and it was just like this 90s like sitcom music like bum 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 for this intense moment and it felt really silly. <laughs> There's a lot of very dated things in this but I think even more so than being dated the music was just bad. So anyways in the movie Andrea and Andrew race when the parents are going to the city for the day and he hurts his leg and she's like, I can, I can just do the race. Like, I'm sorry, this sucks that this happened, but like, dad, I can race for the team. It'll be fine. And he's like, I want you to be concentrated on what 15 year old girls should be concentrated on. And that was in every commercial. He said that line and I paused the movie and was like, whoa. Was anyone else watching Disney Channel at this time? Because that was in every commercial for motocross. He says no. 
and then he decides he's gonna go to France to find them another writer because all of the best writers in the States have already been signed with other people. So he leaves and then Andrea's just like, well, this has been the most complicated day in my life. And I love that so much because we all are living through these times. There's crazy things happening in the world right now, every freaking turn of the way. And so for this to be the most complicated thing that she's dealing with is so like, so like Midwestern suburban of her and I just love it. I, it's so endearing. It's such like a relief to be like, this is actually, I think this is a problem we can deal with. I think this is actually something that like is palatable and can be swallowed. That's a problem that you could deal with. The race for some reason gets moved up two weeks before it was supposed to actually take place. The dad is in France trying to find another racer. They can't get a hold of him and she decides she's going to race. Because before she cuts her hair off, she goes to do one training session, one practice round with a bunch of other racers and she shows up and they're just ridiculously upset that she's a girl. <laughs> Bro, does she really think she's gonna go out there with this? A girl? But her boobs! So she shows up, she gets smoked in the first race, smoked in the second race, and then she starts talking to this dude, bro. What is his name? Um, no. Nope, I never learned his name. Okay, we're gonna call him Dude Bro for the rest of the review. So the Dude Bro wants to date this other girl and she needs to get better, Andrea needs to get better. So the Dude Bro's like, if you help me out getting me a date with the other girl, I'll train you how to be better, bro. I also really enjoy the relationship that Dude Bro and Andrea have. I know that they're setting it up to not be so much of a guy-guy relationship. They want us to still have like a bit of some flirting, but he's looking at Andrea who he thinks is a boy, like he wants to have sex with him right there. Like he's got these smolder eyes that he puts on. And I just, to be honest, I kind of love it. I love the relationship. I love this strong relationship between two straight men who are very confident in flirting with each other a bit. It was honestly a very healthy relationship. I loved that as a kid though. Like young Tamara was like, what if that happened to me? Like what if? I was pretending to be this guy and then like fell in love with this other guy and then like we fell in love and then it was revealed at the end like this this, this crazy like l not girly Cinderella story and it's everything to me and I love it and I want it and I need it. Maybe that's why I cut my hair off into a pixie cut when I first moved to Chicago. Maybe it was deep rooted motocross coming out to finally live its dreams. I think I'm discovering things about myself right now. So the dad comes back. He's just kind of a piece of shit in this movie. They really, they, they really just don't hold back. He is super, super mean, super, super shitty to Andrea. And he brings back this French racer and he creeps Andrea out and then the dad lets him sleep in her room. And then he's super rude to everyone else. And Elton, it comes out that he's actually like a super like bad boy racer who like hits people and is like really aggressive on the track, which nobody really likes. And just all together, all together just really shitty. And the dad keeps denying it and denying it. And then he's, they go to the races and, and it turns out that like he really is the worst. And he starts like yelling at Andrea and pushes her away. Finally, after so much fighting against it, the dad's like, all right, fine, you're fired, Andrea. You can actually be the racer. Uh, look it, I'm a, I'm a very cool, calm and collected dad. I came around. What a great guy I am. No, dad, you're still kind of a piece of shit, but okay, let's race. Andrea, of course, wins first place. Her whole entire family, the whole team gets sponsorships and a ton of money, and then they get to hire a better racer. And in the end, guess who it is? It's the dude bro, because they've fallen in love through friendship first. That's the way to do it, folks. I actually really hate this ending, though, so much. He shows up and he's like, I heard you're looking for a 250 racer. And she's like, yeah, I guess. Are you ready to try out? And he's like, you want me to try out? And she's like, yeah. Don't think we're gonna hand it to you, do we? I'm fucking Andrea, bitch! And she's like, 12 laps. If you beat me, you get the job. He's like, 12 laps? She's like, yeah. He's like, okay, 12 laps. She's like, 12 laps, let's do it. 12 laps, 12 laps, 12 laps, 12 laps, 12 laps. And then it ends! You don't even see them do the 12 laps. There's no kiss. 12 laps, my fucking ass, what about a fucking kiss? Listen, I don't, you know, don't kiss anyone if you don't want to kiss him. Obviously, of course, that's not what I'm saying, but I think they wanted to kiss and we all wanted to see the kiss, so where's the fucking kiss? <laughs> Honestly, watching this was super fun. I love that these Disney Channel original movies are all an hour and a half. I think that's the perfect amount of time for something like this. Like, we don't need to sit here for three hours for a Disney Channel original movie, unless it's Smart House. I've actually only seen Smart House once. 
that's probably gonna be next week's if nothing else comes out new. <laughs> I've been enjoying watching these. Let me know what you would like to see from me, um, what your favorite Disney Channel original movie was, or is, or will always be. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Bye! You should try not to be so courageous. That's the one that hits! You should try not to be so courageous.